Hello and welcome to Thought for June the 14th. Our readings are Judges chapters 14 and 15, Isaiah chapter 38, and 2 Peter chapter 1 and 2. And our thought is, the Lord knows how to rescue the ungodly from trials. We have quite a mixture of scripture to read today. God used all kinds of people to speak or to deliver his people, and Samson was an outstanding but strange example. He was a superman, if you like, possessed of remarkable physical strength, but desires a Philistine as a wife. He needs his parents to arrange this, and they object and say, Is there not a woman among our own people? Chapter 14, verse 3. But Samson is adamant. He wants the Philistine woman. Get her for me, for she is right in my eyes. His father and mother did not know that it was from the Lord, we are told, for he was seeking an opportunity against the Philistines. We learn from this that God usually allows the human will to take its course, yet he can weave into uh, this his purpose as he does here. Then in Isaiah, we read a somewhat similar situation. King Hezekiah is told by the prophet, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you die. You will not recover. Chapter 38, verse 1. The king prays and weeps bitterly, and the Lord responds, Behold, I will add 15 years to your life. Verse 5. But, as we shall see, those 15 years have a big effect on Israel's subsequent history. Our two chapters in 2 Peter are awesome in their description of God's ultimate purpose in bringing great judgments on the world because it become it has become totally godless. Yet at the same time, says Peter, the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials. Chapter 2 verse 9. Paul wrote, God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted or tested beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13. And it is evident Paul is writing from personal experience. How wonderful that God provides a way of escape for the godly. But we must each ask ourselves, does God count me as godly? We look at the godly in the scriptures and they all had blemishes, Samson was a particular example and suffered for it, but was listed among the men of faith in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 32. May the Lord rescue us from trials, if we are to experience, and how soon now, a time of trouble such as never was, or has been. Daniel 12, verse 1. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.